In this mini tutorial, we're going to look at the functions and features of the iOS Clock app. Since your iPhone or iPad always displays the current time, you might not need to open the Clock app very often. But there are quite a few more functions within the Clock app than just displaying the current time. First, notice that the Clock app icon does display the current time with a second hand. Use 3D Touch and we can quickly start the timer, stopwatch, or create an alarm. Open the app and we have five sections at the bottom. World Clock, Alarm, Bedtime, Stopwatch, and Timer. The World Clock lets you see the current time in other places around the globe. Just tap the Add button and we can either find a city in the list here or do a search. I'll enter Santiago, Chile. They're four hours ahead of me there. Swipe left over a city to remove it from the world clock list. Using Siri, you can always ask what time it is anywhere in the world. What time is it in London? Tap on the result and we're jumped into the clock app, but unfortunately the time for London isn't saved here. I'd still need to do that manually to have it permanently available here in the world clock. In the alarm section, we can add multiple alarms that can be set to repeat at different intervals if needed. So let's add an alarm and set it for 7 a.m. Tap repeat and I can set this alarm to go off every day during the week by tapping every Monday through Friday. To name the alarm something other than alarm, tap Label. I'll call this one Weekday Mornings. Next we can set what sound and vibration plays when this alarm goes off. Here in the Vibration menu I can select different types of vibrations, or select no vibration at all. If I prefer a song to play rather than an alarm sound, I can choose any song that's saved in the Music app on my iPhone or we can choose from a variety of alarm sounds down here. Leave snooze on to have the option of pressing a snooze button when the alarm goes off. Save the alarm and it's going to go off at 7 a.m. tomorrow as long as it's activated here in the clock app. Turn it off and the alarm won't go off again until I reactivate it here. Swipe left to delete the alarm. Siri can be great for setting alarms or turning them off. If I want an alarm to sound for something I need to do at 1 p.m. today, I can quickly set that up with Siri. Set an alarm at 1 p.m. We can even set up a full weekday alarm with Siri just like I did manually. Set an alarm for every weekday at 9 a.m. Tap on it to view it in the clock app. Tap edit to change the alarm settings. If I give this alarm a label, I can then use Siri to turn it on or off. Turn off my breakfast alarm. Next we'll look at the bedtime feature. 